Hi guys, it's Jay again from Mayaba's Wind. I am back to do your um, New Year's uh, forecast reading for the sign of Gemini. I hope all has been well. If you haven't seen my previous videos, I'm a priestess in the Afro-Cuban tradition. So I'll be interpreting the cards from an Afro-Cuban spiritualist perspective at times. Um, if you like what I'm doing, please like the video, definitely share and certainly subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, if you would like to book a private reading with me, I'm definitely available. You can email me at ayabaswind, W-Y-N-D-999 at gmail.com. All right, so we're going to get started. Um, I told you towards the end of the horrible 2020 um, that I was going to do this forecast. So this forecast is going to cover the next several months. Um, and just keep in mind, it is a general reading. So some of the information may apply to you. All of it may apply or none of it may apply. Um, and also, you know, things could have happened in the recent past. They could be happening now or they could happen in the near future. Okay. So we're going to get started. This advice is going to come in the form of like quotes and sayings. Um, and then there's going to be some advice given to you. If you want to get something to write with, that would be great. We're going to start. Okay. So the first message that spirit has for you is that where the gutter is born, there's nothing good. Okay. So what spirit is saying is be careful of who you, you are connected to. Um, be careful of, um, you know, the network of people that you hang out with, because what spirit is saying is that there are, there are people that are in this group that can get you in trouble. Okay. And you would be guilty, um, guilty through connection with these people. Okay. So just, um, be very much aware of what is going on. Um, and spirit is trying to protect you from this. Okay. Um, spirit is talking about at this time, it is not beneficial for you to do anything in excess. So no eating a lot, no drinking a lot, no smoking a lot. Spirit is saying that this will not be good for your, um, your forward movement. Okay. Um, and for your, your, your spirit and moving forward for this year. Okay. Spirit is saying that, you know, the reason why, you know, doing things in excess will not be good because it will feed addictions, okay? Some of you may have addictive personalities and that you're prone to excess and some of you are prone to becoming fanatical, okay? And so spirit is just acknowledging this. Um, spirit is talking about, you know, trying to learn how to harmonize yourself um, with nature, um, and with society, okay, as best as you can, you know, through prayer, through meditation, through the mantras, you'll, you will be able to connect, okay, um, because the constantly going, 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 um, and not like taking a quiet moment to connect with self, to connect with spirit is not going to be good for you this year. Um, what spirit is saying, a good thing for you to do would be right before sunrise, go outside, um, and, and collect the morning dew off of the plants, off of the uh, the grass, okay? And so what you can do is you can lean down, take the blades of grass in between your hands and smooth your hands up the blades of grass to collect the water, the dew droplets, okay? And you're gonna put it on the back of your neck, um, you know, all over your body, okay? And you're essentially cleansing yourself. This um, particular morning dew, this water is, is very sacred. Um, it's highly charged spiritually. There is phenomena. Okay. And this will help to calm you and keep you peaceful and clear and will give you the clarity you need. Okay. Spirit is talking about that fertility, um, growth, expansion of ideas is going to be big the next um, few months. Okay. And also the fact that motherhood is going to be born here. So for some people, you may be coming, you may be becoming a mother again, or you may be becoming a mother for the first time. So, you know, there could be pregnancies, people could be giving birth. All right. Um, also, too, you know, this is a very expansive energy. So there is this Jupiter's energy um, regarding expansion. So, you know, your creative juices could be flowing. And so therefore you'll be, you know, very super, um, super creative at this time. OK, and so spirit is saying for some of you, like, you know, some of you search, but you don't know what you're searching for. It's like, uh, you know, 
there's this hunger to want to do more but it's that some of you haven't really put your finger like there there may not be something that really feeds your passion that you know that you have really connected to that you really have a love and passion for okay and spirit is acknowledging this but spirit at the same time is also acknowledging the fact that you are an extremely heavy spiritualist okay and spirit is saying to not be dismissive of this energy okay um it's almost like you know spirit is showing me like the threads from the heavens okay and that you have access to this thread okay there's this connection this uh how you say it, pipeline um to the heavens okay and so spirit is saying that you have to be careful of um of of acting like a magician okay you know we have all the potential to be magicians in a good way but also in a negative way and spirit is saying that you know you have to be careful of manifesting certain things because things can blow up okay if you do not know what you are doing okay if you are an amateur or a novice at doing something you must be very careful you must investigate and you must research before you start conjuring certain things okay because it like i said like spirit said these things can blow up in your face all right um for a set of you um, there are challenges with what we call Abiku, okay? Abiku is causing problems with people having children, okay? And like I said, these messages are not going to apply to everybody, but there are certain women who are watching this or certain um, people who are associated with women who have known challenges of conceiving, okay? And so Spirit is saying, you know, there may be some people out there who have had abortions, okay and no judgment there may be some people out there who have had multiple miscarriages and in one of those abortions or in one of those miscarriages there is a child spirit who was very upset okay and and my i say this my head is tingling okay there is a child spirit that is upset that they were not able to come through you okay and so therefore not only they are they upset they are jealous, okay? And they do not want you to bring forth any children because they were not able to come through. And so this spiritual, this spirit, this spirit child is around you, okay? This is a child, this is a spirit of a child that was not able to be born for whatever reason. And for some reason, it is, it is highly upset that it was not able to come through and therefore it is blocking you being able to conceive it's blocking you being able to have another child okay so if this is the case um what i'm i what i'm suggesting is you set up um a little area with a doll that represents this baby put down a, a small glass of water a candle light white candle okay put down cakes and cookies and sweets and candy put down little toys put down a little baby bottle okay and um give the doll a name of maybe what you were going to name this child okay and you're going to have to have a conversation with this particular child spirit okay and you got to be like look mommy loves you you know the circumstances were not right for you to come through you know i love you I'm praying that you will bless me with being able to have a beautiful child um, that maybe you can manifest through, you know, that you can come through and be with mommy in the physical plane. Okay. You know, you're saying prayers. Okay. Because this spirit wants acknowledgement. This spirit is a jealous spirit. Um, they want all of your love, all of your attention, and they're basically blocking you. So this is what spirit is talking about. Okay. Um, the next thing is that, you know, you got to be careful of what you're saying in your household. You got to be careful of what you're saying around other people because spirit is saying that the walls have ears, okay? That people are listening. If you have neighbor neighbors, they are listening, okay? Um, if you do not have neighbors, um, there could be a spirit that has been sent to... Um, 
to spy on you. Okay, if someone has in fact done any spell work, okay, and what Spirit is saying is, you know, before you you speak, you know, personal information, just say a prayer to block any negative energies that may be trying to sabotage you. Okay, um, Spirit is also talking about this is now is not the time to make your plans be known. Okay, if you're traveling down to say Miami <laughs> or or Con or wherever you're going. Do not broadcast it all over Instagram, okay, or Facebook or wherever you're posting, okay? Why? Is because people will not be happy for you, okay? Some pe people can be jealous. Some people, whatever, for whatever reason, they could be salty, okay? And they that they can do things and think things to, to um, begin manifesting negativity in your life, especially if you are not prayed up. <laughs> if you're not doing your prayers, your meditations, your spiritual baths, you know, these people can actually create havoc in your life. And yes, people have that ability to do that. You know, we all have ancestral ties and some of our ancestors were really freaking amazing and incredible with manifesting. They were imams, they were prophetesses, they were preachers and pastors, priests, um, rabbis, you know, babalaos, santeros, you know, uh, curanderas, you know, espiritistas. So they were able to manifest, <laughs> you know? And so, you know, those people who may be throwing this wicked stuff may not follow in the traditions of their ancestors, but it is certainly in their DNA. And so they could think of you, you know, getting in an accident while you're on your way for, to your trip. And if you are not prayed up, an accident could actually take place. So that's why, you know, I'm saying like, you know, be careful with alcohol and drugs because all those things lower your vibration. So it will leave you open and vulnerable to these attacks in the next several months. Okay. Um, uh, Spirit is saying uh, at this point in time, be careful of drinking with others. Okay. Um, and, and the message here is be yourself and don't live other people's lives. So this whole, you know, being on Instagram and fa Facebook, yes, it's very entertaining, but, you know, you know, people can go overboard with it, you know, and I'll be honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm guilty of it too. When I'm bored and, you know, it takes me down certain rabbit holes and looking at certain videos and whatever. Uh, but what Spirit is saying that, that this year is not going to be good to get lost in other people's stuff and other people's lives and drama, okay? Um, because while you're getting lost in other people's things, your whole life could be falling apart or you may not be doing things to, you know, fulfill your dreams and accomplish your goals and, you know, opportunities could pass you by, okay? So Spirit is saying, be careful with that. Um, this year for you guys, it is very important for you to not search through your lover's things, okay? Because this can initiate a humongous fight and, you know, that would not be a good thing for you, okay? At this time, do not carry any weapons, no knives, no guns, no nothing. Why? Because there is energy that's associated with these weapons, okay? And so this can pull the energy of war to you, the energy of fighting to you, okay? And we're not trying to do that this year. We're trying to be on the up and up. OK, spirit is talking about like now, you know, these next set of six months are not going to be good. No arguing. OK, spirit is saying that you may have the tendency to be a bit stubborn. OK, but listen to the words that spirit is giving you. OK, and spirit is acknowledging that many of you are good organizers um, and that, you know, you're trying your best to keep things together. OK, um, in the rain. Spirit wants you to protect your head, okay? Um, the, for the next several months, it is not good to get rainwater on your head. Rainwater is phenomena, okay? It is charged, okay? It is coming from the heavens, from the skies above, all right? And But also, too, you know, it is cleaning the atmosphere, okay? And, and with that, when it falls on your head, it can create a very chaotic... Um, uh, a very chaotic, this is the word, like chaos, chaos and confusion and a scattered sense of being, okay? And so spirit is trying to protect you from this. Keep your head covered, wear a lot of white if you can, do a lot of white baths, okay? Spirit is talking about 
again, be careful of like gluttony and overindulgence and excess, okay? Um, Spirit is talking about being patient, you know, working on your patience. Um, and also too, you know, there's phenomena around you. Okay, this is whole thing of phenomena, and I'm saying this, my head is tingling. You know, you may hear things, you know, see spirits, you may feel spirits. There may have been like strange occurrences where you cannot explain. You know, I have created a new play, um, not a new playlist. There is a playlist um, about spirits. Um, it's, it, you know, um, real live accounts from celebrity, celebrities on spiritual um, encounters. Okay, and so this is the thing that I'm talking about. Like you experience phenomena, spirit is talking about this. And if you haven't, spirit is saying that you will experience something. All right. Um, spirit is talking about um, in the next six months, it is not a good time to be physically abusive to anyone. Okay. Um, to be, it's it's important for you to stay calm, to wear as much white as possible, to walk in peace you know, um, and tranquility and harmony, okay, at this time, you know, and spirit is talking about think before you speak, okay, because your tongue can get you in trouble, okay, or it can bring unnecessary um, heat to you, or it can cause unnecessary wars and battles, okay, um, spirit is mentioning, it keeps talking about this whole gluttony and excess, so spirit is saying that this gluttony and excess can compromise your health, okay? Your health will be at risk. So it's very important that, you know, if you're getting these um, cravings, you know, you have to look at the root of the problem. Why are, you really, why are you gorging yourself with sex? Why are you gorging yourself with alcohol? Why are you gorging yourself with food? Why are you gorging yourself with drugs? Okay, the root is, is that there is a vacancy, there is a void, there is an emotional vacancy that is not being filled, okay? And that is the issue that has to be worked on, that has to be addressed, okay? Through prayer, through meditation, through a booking a therapist, doing something, okay? Um, Spirit is talking about at this time, do not take foods that people push on you. Oh, here, try it. No, here, try it. Spirit is saying, no, don't do that. Okay, there could be something in the food that causes allergy. There could be something in the food that could be poison. Maybe someone could be trying to drug you or poison you, okay? Or maybe they said prayers over the food um, to sabotage your forward movement. And Spirit is saying, this is not the time to be uh, you know, eating foods that people push on you. Um, Spirit is talking about, you know, be careful of foods that are white, okay? So what does this mean? Be careful of white foods. This is talking about, you know, be careful of foods that have flour, that have sugars, um, like rice and pasta and, you know, cakes and cookies and potatoes, like all of these white foods, be very careful because you know, it could lend itself to, you know, um, the onset of diabetes in certain individuals. Um, it can, you know, trigger a coma and or shock in certain people. Okay, it is not good for you at this time. Okay, the spirit is also talking about limit your fish intake, please. Okay, you know, as we know, the waters are polluted um, and certain fish uh, collect high levels of mercury in the fat of the fish. So especially fatty fish like tuna, um, maybe some salmon and other fish like that, you got to be very careful of eating those fish because you can get sick and you can get poisoned. All right. Spirit is talking about don't let people get drunk at your house, okay? Um, because it will bring bad luck for you. It'll bring fights and it can bring violence. So do not let people get drunk at your house. Um and what Spirit is saying, don't walk or do anything in threes, okay? Threes can cause a lot of problems in the next six months for you, okay? Threes can cause arguments. Threes can cause resentment. It can cause illness. It can cause accidents, all of these things. So it's very important not to travel in threes, okay? And if you got to travel in threes, put like a little teddy bear in the back seat. you know, put something in the trunk, carry like a little makeshift uh, little doll or some kind of thing to kind of break up that three, 
Okay. Spirit is talking about at this time, be careful of, you know, your head walking under like scaffolding, walking under ladders, you know, be careful of walking over holes, be careful of walking over broken flooring because accidents can happen there. Um, Spirit is talking about at this point in time, be very careful of horseback riding, skating, biking, and motorcycles, okay, for the next six months. Because what Spirit is saying that this can lead to a serious accident, if not death. So please be very careful of those particular modes of transportation and exercise. Um, and also Spirit is saying, you know, do not turn your back to the street. Always, you know, keep stay aware of your surroundings okay because someone could run up on you you know a car could jump the curve so just keep your mind your your eyes open and spirit is saying you know no heavy loads it's very important for you to not carry anything too um too heavy because it can um you know impact your 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 um your back okay wearing a lot of white is going to be good for you um sleeping in white dressing in white you know um even revamping your wardrobe is going to be great for you, okay? Um, Spirit is also talking about um, no pumpkins at this time. It is advised that you don't eat pumpkin pie, no pumpkin lattes, no pumpkin seeds, no pumpkin soup, no pumpkin, pumpkin nothing, okay? Why? Because pumpkins represent wealth, okay? Um, and if you had a pumpkin, you were wealthy because you had all of the seeds inside of it. So uh, what Spirit is saying is that the pumpkin's going to represent wealth for you. It would be advised to keep a pumpkin in your house, you know, um, and it will represent wealth and abundance for you. When that pumpkin goes bad, you can just sit it out in the backyard and hopefully the pumpkin's seeds will take root. Oh, will yeah, will seed into, will germinate, okay, and bring more pumpkins, which will be um, indicative of the wealth that is coming to you, okay? And then finally, Spirit is saying that some of you, you know, may have the tendency to be risk takers, okay? And Spirit is saying, yeah, you can, you know, you can stretch out a little, you can reach a little, <laughs> but don't reach too much so that, um, you know, you get yourself in trouble, okay? Now, like I said, this is not going to apply to everyone. Spirit is talking about that there may be people watching this that have or that will have experiences with an incubus or succubus um, spirit, okay? And so this spirit could have been sent to you by someone else to try and tie you or to work you. Or that this spirit, somehow you could have picked this spirit up from uh, who, who you were connected to or maybe where you slept. Maybe it was a hotel you went to that may have been, you know, a former, um, you know, brothel at one point in history. Okay, there is a, 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 a spirit that uh, can assault you and, and harass you at night. Um, some people may experience like this sleep paralysis um, with this spirit. Um, and the whole point of this spirit is that this spirit wants to enslave you, okay? It wants to enslave you. It wants to dominate you and control you, okay? And so with this, for some of you, if you're having problems sleeping, you can um, uh, tie a red um, piece of cloth around your waist, not too tight, okay? You don't want to stop your circulation. Um, you can do that. Uh, you can also um, sleep with a glass of water next to your bed, okay, and just say prayers that, you know, you'll be practicing, you know, um, say prayers to the God for us and ask you to protect um, and watch over you at night, okay, say prayers before you go to sleep. There's also mantras you can say before you go to sleep. You could do mantras for protection. There's a mantra um, that's the Durga mantra, and it goes like this, Om Doom. Dorgaye Namaha. Om Dum Dorgaye Namaha. Okay. Uh, you can say that 108 times or eight to 10 minutes either way before you go to sleep. Um, you can also uh, do this one. Om Ayudaye Namaha. Om Ayudaye Namaha. Okay. And um, you want to say prayers and mantras before you go to sleep so that this thing doesn't harass you. 
Also, I know a lot of you like to sleep in the dark, <laughs> okay? And then now, this is where these incubus and succubus spirits thrive, okay? So why are you feeding them? You got to ask yourself this question, okay? You're not making conditions comfortable for them to thrive and harass, sexually harass you while you sleep, okay? That's not a good thing, okay? Because they progress and it can grow in increasingly negative um, and dysfunctional, okay? Spirit is talking about, you know, you know, some of you may have had losses from this past year or may have losses in this coming year as far as people crossing into the ancestor realm. And what Spirit is saying, it's advised for you at this time to not cry over the dead so much, you know, that the dead will come and take you, okay? And some of you may be like, oh my God, what's that mean? Okay, let me explain. Morning is natural when someone crosses over. You go through the, through your thing, you cry because their physical body is not here anymore. Their spirit has been set, set free from that physical, that shell that they were in, okay? They are now in the spiritual realm and they could be anywhere at any time with anyone. Spirit is saying that these people these people who are once alive, they love you so much and they will take your tears as a sign of something is wrong with you and they want to take you out of your suffering. So they will look to take you with them, okay? If you are crying and in such a deep state of depression, they will want to take you out of your misery and take you to the other side with them so that they can take you and love you up. Now guys, for some of you, it may sound inviting, but for many of you, if you have children, if you have things to do, you can't, you can't do that. <clears throat> so Spirit is saying, yes, you can mourn a little bit, but don't cry so much because the devil will come and take you, okay? Um, <clears throat> Spirit is talking about do not be surprised if you get abandoned by friends, okay? There's going to be a set of, of you where, you know, there are going to be friends that leave your life, okay, for whatever reason. So Spirit is just saying, get ready. Spirit's talking about be careful of stairs, okay? Be careful around stairwells. Be careful around corners at this time, okay? Spirit is talking about um, something about hemorrhaging at the mouth, Okay, so, you know, if there is hemorrhaging at the mouth, you know what to do. You got, someone's got to call 911, okay? This is not a good thing. So it definitely needs to be addressed with a, a physician, okay? Um, Spirit, again, is talking about someone is being worked or going to be worked sexually, okay? <clears throat> and, you know, I'm saying this, my head is tingling. Someone could be um, possibly tied. So don't leave your underwear. Don't leave little items of clothing. Don't leave pieces of hair at people's houses. You know what I'm saying? I, there was a story. I heard the guy, you know, he was, he was married. He was seeing a woman on the side. You know, everything was good. They had great sex, great chemistry. One day, I think she left to go to the store or whatever. She left him sleeping. Something told him to look under the bed. He looked under the bed and there was a box. He pulled out the box and it was all his information, pieces of hair, God knows what. I think it was um, a clipping from his clothing. She had worked him. So what Spirit is saying, be careful of being worked, all right, at this time. Uh, Spirit is talking about there may be someone coming to try and steal your home. And I know that sounds crazy. Like, how does someone steal your home? Okay, so, you know, be careful of investors knocking at your door. Be careful of people um, wanting to stay with you and then staying with you um, for one night or two nights turns into two weeks, turns into three months, turns into a year. And you can't get them the hell out of your house. So Spirit is saying... Be careful of someone trying to take over, all right? And it's very hard to evict those people. 
Be careful of the papers you sign. All right, just don't sign things blindly because you could be signing your title away, your deed away to your house. Okay, Spirit is saying, watch this. Um, Spirit is talking about, it is really important to focus your energy, your prayers, your ma you manifesting what you want in your life. Okay, this is a time, it's ripe for manifestation. Okay, Spirit is talking about like there, there are a lot of you that can speak to the dead. You have an ability to connect with the spirits. You know, you can get your little oracle cards, something that you like, get some oracle cards, Etsy.com, Amazon.com, you know, get your cards, even if you don't know how to read cards. Okay, get some cards, hold it in your hand, you know, and just, you know, start praying, you know, help me to be able to you know, connect spiritually, help me to develop my spiritual eye, you know, help me to see the things that I need to see, you know, open up the way, help me to connect with you spiritually, you know, open all the doors. Okay. And then all of a sudden the cards start flying out. And this is how the spirit starts to speak with you. These are the messages that are coming to you. Okay. So it's very important um, for you to develop spiritually. Um, Spirit is saying for the men who are watching this, who date women or who are married, there is someone that may try and steal your wife, okay? There's someone that may try and make moves towards her, okay? And what Spirit is saying is that you may be surprised who this person is. So keep your eyes open, all right? Um, if you are in my tradition, um, it is advised for you to, you know, wear your, your spiritual, your blessed beads, okay? Um, and really connect with spirit and go into prayer and meditation at this time. Um, you know, the first six months of this year um, may be a bit chaotic. And so it's very important that we have our spiritual foundation to connect to, um, you know, or else, you know, all this media stuff will take us on a ride and we'll all be walking around as basket cases, okay? And that's not an option. We're not doing that, all right? So it's very important for you guys to connect to your spiritual foundation. Um, Spirit is talking about be careful of losing your job at this time. Um, that be betrayal is coming. Betrayal is going to be coming. It could be coming in the form of a person. We don't know, but, but betrayal is coming. So keep your eyes open at work. Keep your eyes open at home and your, you know, your place of business, wherever, because there is going to be something that comes. And so you need to direct your prayers towards that. Okay. Um, there is someone here that there is a woman that is very jealous of you. Okay. She's very envious. She wants what you have. Okay. She may smile in your face, but silently want to stab you in the back. And so spirit is saying, you know, you need to make sure that you are doing your spiritual baths. Um, it's something about a mirror. You can work on doing some kind of mirror, um, a form of protection with mirrors. Um, maybe you can put a mirror at your door to deflect negative energy. Okay. You can put prisms in your windows. Um, just be very careful. Okay. Um, <clears throat> spirit is talking about, be careful of pregnancy out in the street. Okay. And what does this mean? This means pregnancy out of wedlock, pregnancy out of your committed relationship. Okay. Because this can bring embarrassment to you. For some of you who are watching, there may be like some strange kind of leg issues going on with you. You know, I would say it's something with the leg that may have happened out of the blue, that's strange, like you don't know the origin of, of where this thing started, okay? Spirit is saying that these leg issues could be as a result of some brujeria, some witchcraft that has been thrown or worked on you. And so it's important for you to direct your prayers, do your spiritual baths to get that thing off of you, okay? Um, and then Spirit is talking about, you know, be very careful of swimming in the ocean this year, okay? Your blessings are going to be coming from, you know, um, this, this um, 
this vast energy, you know, of the God force from the oceans, okay? And so, you know, when we enter into the ocean, you know, before you swim, say prayers, you know, say thank you for all of your magnific magnific magnificence, um, all of the bounty that you provide for us, the fish that give us nourishment, the water that quenches our thirst, that cleanses us, and just say thank you before you go in um, to take your swim, all right? Just be very careful. Guys, um, also just, um, you know, watch all of the openings in your body, you know, be careful of what you're watching, what you're listening to at this time and, you know, do things, um, watch things that are going to be inspirational. Listen to things that are going to be inspirational. Okay. Um, if you have identified with any part of this, um, forecast, um, for the new year and you would like to explore it further, with a reading, you can email me at ayavaswind, W-Y-N-D, 999 at gmail.com. Um, please like the video, definitely share, and certainly subscribe. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm not done with you guys, though. I'll be back in the next day or so to do your love tarot pop-up for the sign of Gemini. Ciao.